I think performing in general, for comedy specifically, is a lot of highs and lows. You have to get very used to trying and failing over and over and over again. Anybody who is in this business is used to bombing and, you know, trying things that don't work. Sadness. Oh, a beautiful, uh, let's see, let's pick a, an ingenue. Um, how about, um, you know what? She can do it all, Zendaya. Riley, our character, turns 13 and she suddenly has all these new emotions busting through and they're very complicated. You know, they're kind of confusing. They don't really make a lot of sense and they and in the film, the, the old emotions, fear, anger, joy, they get bottled up. Hello everybody, I'm Radrani and welcome to Zoom Speak Easy. My guest today is so talented and of course, she is incredible in spreading joy. Yes, I did that. And of course, I'm about so excited to be talking about Inside Out 2. Hello, Amy. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm very good. Thank you for having me and talking to me today. I truly meant that when I said you have participated in Spreading Joy. You know, you are among the most talented women that we have. Jokes have landed. You have helped us and have helped a lot of women in just, you know, sort of removing that unnecessary stereotype that women can't be funny and all of that. Um, but it must be a journey that you today look back and think about the ups and downs as well, right? So tell me about the about the joyous parts and about the hard parts of that, of being uh, doing comedy for so many years and being loved. Well, I think performing in general, but comedy specifically, is a lot of highs and lows. You have to get very used to trying and failing over and over and over again. Anybody who is in this business is used to bombing and you know trying things that don't work and you just have to kind of tolerate the anxiety that comes along with that over and over and over again you have to kind of find your voice uh work with the right people work hard all of that comes with experience i'm very lucky that i get 10 years later to be talking about a movie that i got to work on before because i do feel it hasn't you know for all of us it's been a complicated 10 years as to be a human on on the earth at this time and um what i love about um the movie is it just keeps reminding you that just when you think you've got it all together and all figured out life just keeps throwing you surprises so if whether it's in comedy or whatever you're doing with your life if you can stay flexible and believe in yourself and go back to the stuff that you know you feel is what makes you a sp special person then you're okay i think it was so wonderful uh to see the way puberty and the emotions surrounded it has been sort of dealt with in the film it's a topic that i think young adults discuss it very freely today but there are there is so much more and i feel a film like this will take that conversation forward because we all know yeah. we've been there uh tell us about what you think about this yeah, so in the second film, um, Riley, our character, turns 13 and she suddenly has all these new emotions busting through and they're very complicated. You know, they're kind of confusing. They don't really make a lot of sense. And they and in the film, the, the old emotions, fear, anger, joy, they get bottled up, put stuck in a bottle and and shipped out of there. And so um, you know, uh, it's really what it feels like to be growing older, you know, it, it feels like this feeling where you're, you're kind of taking everything apart, you know, anxiety shows up with a wrecking ball and screwdrivers to take all of the parts apart and destroy what's there. And we have to figure out how do we build it back up? How do we get back to what makes Riley so special? Yeah, of course. Okay, now if you have to kind of do a casting of this, okay, I'm going to tell you emotions and you tell me which Hollywood actor or actually Ooh, any actor okay, beautiful. Those, would you sort of pick and why? Okay, let's go. Anger. Who would be a good Hollywood actor for anger? Hmm. Okay, let's see. Well, I picture someone, um, you know, I was going to say I picture someone big, but let's go against type. Let's picture someone very small and thin, but angry. Let's pick a New Yorker. Let's say, you know what? Let's say um, 
Al Pacino for anger. Why not? I love that. I'd love to see him. Anxiety. Um, I'm going to pick, um, who would be a good anxiety? Anxiety is always very funny. So let's say Jerry Seinfeld for anxiety. Okay. (laughs) I love it. Okay. Sadness. Sadness. Oh, a beautiful, uh, let's see, let's pick a, an ingenue. Um, how about, um, you know what? She can do it all. Zendaya. Wouldn't you like to see that? Thank you. hundred percent. Well, get me a Zendaya's number. We'll, we'll, we'll try to figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. Thank you so much. It was lovely talking to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, you too. Everybody.